chosen ones where you are where you are where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great chosen one yes your enemies have enemies yes chosen one and they want to confess to you because of what is happening to them but they are so scared to come confess to you i'm telling you your haters get haters and what they did to you that is the same thing their enemies are doing to them in multiple folds oh yes what they try to hurt you with their own enemies are hurting them with in thousand folds chosen ones i'm telling you they are reaping what they sow yes Time is telling your side of the story. Oh yeah, everybody is going to reap what they sow. What they did to you, they are going through it. The lies they lie against you, I'm telling you, someone is also lying against them. And the person is accusing them wrongly, I'm telling you. And they, 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 they don't know what to say. They don't know how to defend themselves. The way they try to tarnish your image, the way they try to lie against you, the way they try to blackmail you, that is the same thing their haters and enemies are doing to them. And they are crying. They are not able to bear it. I'm telling you, chosen one. You see, the evil that men do lives after them. When they were doing that to you, they thought, oh, yes, they've gotten you. They never knew that. As they were busy hurting you someone is also seeing them looking at them and they are doing wrong in someone's story and that person is also not trying to forgive them oh yes i'm telling you to someone that is what is happening your enemies have enemies our enemies have enemies our haters have haters your haters have haters. That is it. That is why you should not worry. You should not worry when people hate you. When you have enemies, don't worry about them. Just keep focusing on your life and leave everything to time. Leave everything to karma. Leave everything to the universe. Leave everything to God. Oh yes. And you see, as you've left everything in the hand of God, having understanding that vengeance is the Lord and the Lord will surely bring them to book. Today, they are facing their own karma. Yes, they are facing it. They are reaping it. They are tasting it. If it tastes good, then they should taste it themselves. That is what is happening. If it is good, then they should taste it themselves. Just like they plotted evil against Daniel. They conspired against Daniel and they went to the king that, oh, king, let's come out with a law that from today onwards, no one, no one should seek any other God or talk to any other God or pray to any other God apart from his majesty, the king. And anyone that does that, that person will be put in the lion's den. Let's sign that decree right now. Let's sign that. Let's make it a law and sign so that anybody who is fine found doing that the person will be put into the lions then yes that was the intention of the people that conspired against daniel knowing very well that there is no way daniel is going to leave a day without praying without consulting god because daniel has the habit of praying three times a day so they conspired they plotted against him and boom they caught him red-handed praying to god and then they went to the king the king ah daniel has you know went daniel went up there praying you know daniel is not respecting you so because of that the king ordered that they put daniel into the lion's den even though the king loved daniel so much but the law is the law right the law is the law. No one is above it. So they have to put Daniel in the lion's den. Oh, yes. And what happened? Angels took over. The months of the, months of the lions were shut. 
and they couldn't devour Daniel. Yes, and Daniel was brought up from the lions then. And Daniel's enemies, the people that plotted, the people that went and sat and conspired, that, oh, they should come out with a law like this. The king said, bring such people to me. And immediately, they were all grabbed, put in the lion's den, and the lion devoured them. I'm telling you, chosen ones, that is the same thing that is happening to your haters. That is the same thing that is happening to your enemies. Those that plotted against you, those that conspired against you, those that falsely accuse you, those that lie against you, those that try to blackmail you, to manipulate you, those that try to, um, I mean, insult you and say a whole lot of negativity, mistreat you, mishandle you. That is the same thing that is happening to them and their family right now. They are paying for it. They are going through it. They are going through some sort of agony right now, chosen one. Yes. And now they are feeling the pain, how it takes like nothing that will be done to a chosen one will go scot-free oh yes anybody that try to mess up with you is only messing up with their life that is why you got to worry not fear not you have to only keep on moving forward you have to only keep on going because nothing can stop you when they try they are only doing it to themselves. They will rip it. Now they are going through the agony, the pain. They want to confess to you so that they will be free. Yes, but they are scared. They are afraid. They don't know whether telling you <laughs> you're going to forgive them. They never knew that, oh, you, you don't hold grudge. You don't hold offense. You've forgiven them long time and left the battle in the hands of the Lord because you understand that vengeance is the Lord and the Lord is fighting for you now. Time is fighting for you. Karma is doing its job. You cannot go and take the work from karma from God. It is already happening. So you, you just allow. Oh, yes. You just allow. If they come and confess, that is okay. But the punishment they got to receive, what they got to go through, they will go through they will definitely pay for it they are paying for it nothing goes unpunished no wrong will go unpunished the pain that we put on others face is the same pain that comes back to us they don't understand that whilst they were misbehaving towards you whilst they were busy hurting you they never understand that the pain that they, 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 they're putting you through the hurt that they're putting you through is the same thing that is being pressed down multiplied shaking and will be given to them in due time and due season yes and then they were laughing they were happy thinking oh they've trapped you thinking oh they've gotten you yes thinking oh yes finally that is the end of you they never knew that whatever they are doing, that they are doing to themselves. What to do to your fellow man, your fellow human being, that you are doing to yourself. It's a seed you are sowing into your own life. If you do good, you do for yourself. If you do bad, you do for yourself. If you do evil, you do evil for yourself. And whatever evil that they plotted against you, whatever harm, whatever shame, God has turned everything to your good. And now they are dancing to their own evil. They are dancing to the rhythm, to the tune of shame that they try to play for you. The drum of shame that they beaten for you. They are now dancing to it. They are now dancing to it. And they need a rescuer. <laughs> How possible is that? They need a rescuer. To rescue them from the evil that they've done. You see, to the measure, to the degree to which you wrong someone, to that same measure, it's going to be pressed down, multiplied, shaken, and given to you. Yes. They thought, oh, because it is delaying, oh, oh, they, they, they are free. They never knew. That the more it delays, the more it's going to be pressed down, multiplied, shaken, and come in a compound interest. That's how it is. Whatever we do, good, bad, is going to be pressed down, multiplied, shaken, and given to us. Sooner or later. If it is sooner, that is okay. But if it is later, it's going to come in a compound interest. Knowing this, you do to yourself. You, you, whatever you're doing to, 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 to your neighbor, you look to yourself. You, if it is you that, you know, someone is doing it to, will you be okay? 
if you will not be okay, you shun away from doing it. They have no wisdom and knowledge to guide them. And today, they are in your shoe. They are in the same fire that they set for you to consume you. Now they are in it. Yes, there is a saying that if there is cotton under you, you don't try jumping over fire. They never knew that the, the, there is cotton in, in their bottles, in their anus. So they try to cross the fire that they've set for you. And now the fire has caught them themselves. Their anus is getting burned. <laughs> their anus is getting burned. Their bottles is getting burned. Yes, cotton is in your bottles. You have cottons in your dress. And you are trying to jump over fire. <laughs> fire will consume you. And that is what they mess up with. Chosen ones. That is God working on your behalf. That is time working on your behalf. That is karma working on your behalf. Understand that vengeance is the Lord and everything is in the hands of God. And the people that did you wrong, that mistreated you, that, I mean, mishandled you, they would definitely drink from their own cup. Yes, as they hate you, they have people that also hate them the more. As they are your enemies, they have huge and great powerful enemies that are doing the same thing to them. So worry not, fear not. Okay? Let your heart be at rest because the Lord, time, comma, the universe is fighting for you. Divine powers are fighting for you 24-7. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your life. Don't look at what people are doing to you. Right? Don't, don't try to repay evil for evil. For whatever a man does that he is going to reap. Okay? Yes, just so one. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.